How does a flower become a fruit? For a flower to get fertilized, it needs to get pollinated first. Pollen from male reproductive structures, anthers, needs to land on a stigma, part of the female reproductive structure. This process is aided mainly by pollinators, who transfer pollen grains from one flower to another. This can happen either on the same plant, in which case we talk about self-pollination, or between different plants of the same species, which is referred to as cross-pollination. Let's look at this process in an orange flower. Under suitable conditions, the pollen grain starts to germinate after landing on a stigma. This happens by production of a pollen tube from one of the two cells the pollen grain contains, the vegetative cell. The pollen tube grows down through the style towards the ovary. During this process, the other cell, the reproductive one, divides and creates two sperm cells that travel down the pollen tube. Eventually, the pollen tube reaches an ovule, enters it usually via the microbial, which is a small opening, and delivers the sperm cells inside. Inside of the ovule, there is an embryo sac in which there is an egg cell. The male sperm joins with the female egg to form a zygote. The fertilized ovule develops into a seed, and the ovary around it becomes a fruit. You can see this as the ovary enlarges and eventually grows to its full size and ripens into a mature fruit. And why do we call this process in flowering plants double fertilization? Watch the full video from the link below.